What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video and we're still talking about tasers. We're going to be talking about tasers because the law has changed where you don't have to get tased to get the taser certification. We have a class coming up on March 15th and you can get in there whether you're a civilian or someone who works in the industry. So I just want to share information on the taser so that you know better and then you can do better. So listen, if you are new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back make sure you guys like subscribe turn on those notifications and tune into the next video right after you're tuning into this video so let's just get started okay, listen there are three pros I want to talk about today for the taser one the fact that it's a non-lethal tool that is a pro all by itself that, that's just the number one pro. The pro is that you're preserving life and not trying to take life. The pro is that it is a non-lethal tool that can actually, pro number two, stop and incapacitate a threat. It's non-lethal, but it can definitely stop and incapacitate a threat. Pro number three, it can be used in close quarters or far and distant areas, right? So let me just break all three of those down. All right, so the first one is non-lethal. So sometimes every situation doesn't cause for your firearm. And definitely the aftermath of using your firearm is crazy. You could lose your job, you could go to jail, you could get out, you could spend all your money on a lawyer. There's a lot of paperwork, there's a lot of heartache, there's a lot of things, and it should be your last resort. But this non-lethal option gives you a powerful tool to use, but also preserve life and not take it, right? And then leading into number two, which is that it can stop and capacitate a threat. If someone is coming at you in a self-defense situation or a situation on duty and you need to put them down, a taser can do that. A taser has the ability and the strength to do that. Once you deploy that taser and you deploy that projectile, it can take the individual down. Now, it does, it's not 100%, and yes, some people are immune to it, which is crazy to me, because I know I would be down for the count, but it does stop and incapacitate the threat, and that's all that you're trying to do, which is stop and incapacitate the threat, and that's really good in my book. I don't know about your book, but anything that can stop and incapacitate the threat, but still show empathy by not taking a life is numero uno for me, okay? And then the third one that it can be used in a close quarter self-defense situation, or you can create space and still stop and incapacitate the threat, right? That is just like, that's a two for one, okay? It can be used close and it can be used far. With a stun gun, you can only use it close unless you go fire and throw the stun gun at somebody, but that's neither here nor there. That's a whole nother video. So those are the three pros to getting your taser certification and carrying a taser. Those three pros right there should just have you signing up because as someone who wants their mother to carry a firearm and they, they do not want to carry a firearm, this is another alternative. It's better than a stun gun. Um, but it's still non-lethal. Um, it has the capacity to put someone down, especially if that someone is bigger than me, stronger than me, or heavier than me. But then it also has versatility because I can use it in a close confrontation or I can use it where I'm making, creating space from the confrontation, trying to de-escalate, and then I'm using it if the de-escalation doesn't work. So it just gives you versatility in every situation because every scenario is different, especially in the security realm. Uh, you know, in, in self-defense situations, they happen three to five seconds and you really have to make decisions fast. But if you know you have something non-lethal, when you deploy that, you're not going to be so hesitant. You're not going to be so hesitant because you're not going to be thinking about taking a life. You're just going to be thinking about stopping and incapacitating the threat so that both of you can live to tell the story and they can, you know, deal with their consequences and you can go on with your life. You know, less jail time, less liability, lots of versatility.